Okay, we're going to talk today about how to do some legal research. And specifically, I want to do this research using the database Nexus Uni. So you may have heard of LexisNexis before. It's a legal specialty database. We at the call at the university, we have a kind of a academic version of this called Nexus Uni. So if you go to library databases A to Z, go to N for Nexus, and you'll find it right there, Nexus Uni. Is like a university version of LexisNexis. So <clears throat> what you would want to do first is go down here where it says cases, set it to cases. I'm just going to look in federal cases. You could also look up state cases. And I'm looking up today, um, I just have kind of a topic that I want to look up. I'm not looking for a specific case. So I'm going to look up <clears throat> partners basis partnership interest. And then we'll just search. So it found 4,065 cases related to that. So what we could do, first thing I would do probably here, and you can see those terms showing up in here. So th these are probably going to work pretty well for you. But we might want to go over here to the timeline. These cases are going all the way back to 1805. I might set in here like my earliest I would want to look at maybe would be 2018. So now we're down to 263 cases, a lot better. You could also, if you, and you can, you can see these terms showing up here. So there's going to be some good cases in here. You could also go over here and you could say the court. You might want to, and these are federal, so they're in circuits. And you might want to, like, for example, I'm in Colorado, which is in the Ninth Circuit. So I might want to look at the Ninth Circuit cases, seeing as how those would be cases in the circuit in which I live. And that might that might be more specific. But you can kind of limit it to whatever you want. That brought it down to 32 cases, which is much more manageable. Any one of these that you would like, you can open this up. And then the, uh, the full case will open up here. There's a full case there. And you could print it out here, you could email it, you could download it. And um, there's, if you click this, you could get a link to this page. If you click there, you could get a specially formatted link. The links up here will expire, but if you click that link, you'll get a link that won't expire. So that's, uh, that's how you do this. Hopefully that helps you out. As always, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you. Bye-bye.